scripture text for this sermon called The Good Steward is found in Luke chapter 16, verse 2. Give me an accounting of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Our relationship to God is described in many ways in Scripture. As sinners and fallen beings, we are called debtors and servants. But stewards describes us best. For we are obligated to use what our Master gives us as God wishes. First of all, God has entrusted us with our souls. For this reason, we are to give our minds and wills completely to God. Second, God has entrusted us with our bodies. He gives us speech to praise Him. God gives us physical talents to use for Him. Third, God gives us the necessities of life and money to use for good. And finally, God gives us gifts, including our abilities, time, talents, and the Holy Spirit. As we contemplate the gift of time, we realize that we are here only for a short time. Physical death will end our stewardship. We will return to dust. Our giftedness ends. Our speech is done. Our physical sight and hearing will end, but our souls will see and hear in new ways. Wisdom and knowledge of this world will fade, but our souls will be set free to remember and comprehend everything. For ignorance will cease for Christians. Some falsely report that there is no life beyond death, but the scriptures are clear. Our souls will live on with full vigor and understanding. However, our stewardship does end at death. For at the moment of death, our souls will leave our bodies and we will appear before God, clearly knowing our eternal destiny, heaven or hell. But we will wait with all others for the coming of the Lord and his one and only final judgment. At that time, we will have to give an account of our stewardship. The Lord will ask, how did you use your life? Did you use all the gifts that I gave you to know me and proclaim my love and goodwill to others? Did you glorify me with your body? How did you use your gifts of food, clothing, shelter, and money? Did you use them to please yourself or help others and glorify me? Were you a wise and faithful steward? If so, God will declare, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. In conclusion, our time on earth is very short. Are we growing in grace? Are we doing all the good we can? Are we giving our all to God? It is not easy. But God's grace is sufficient for us so that every thought can be focused on obeying Christ.